Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video. Guiding Light here, as always, back with another episode of Destiny Zero Predictions. So we're not going to waste any time today in this episode. We're just going to hop right on into these predictions, guys. So the Festival of the Lost is finally gone, and to be honest with you, I'm kind of happy about it just because Inferno Trials was getting a little bit annoying. Last week's map was definitely not fun, and I definitely really didn't enjoy myself as much as I do on some of the other Trials maps. So with the Trials of Osiris back to the way it usually is this weekend, I'm really hoping we get a really good map here. I have not been able to carry or really help anyone to the lighthouse in about three weeks because of the Inferno Trials. So this time around, I'm really hoping for either Widow's Court or Black Shield. Both of those maps have not been here in 19 or 20 weeks. It's been a, quite a long time since we've gotten those maps. So I'm definitely hoping for either one of those this week. Now with that being said, guys, let's get on into the Titans predictions for this week. Now, last week, you guys got the Talkanaut helmet, which is pretty cool. It actually does grant tracking on every single rocket, so it actually does come in handy sometimes, although the heavy round has changed quite a bit. That helmet is still pretty decent. Now, for this week's piece of gear, I think we're going to be getting another helmet. I think you guys are going to be getting the Imperium Bellicose. Now, this is a pretty amazing helmet, in my opinion. You never really see too many people running it, but it definitely does look really sick, and it does grant you a perk that allows you to float in midair while aiming down your sights. So this is actually pretty useful for snipers out there in certain situations. You can kind of make your own sniper spots, and it is actually pretty cool if you get used to it. It's actually pretty overpowered because you can snipe from places that people usually aren't expecting because of that helmet, and it actually is a lot of fun to use as well. So if Zero sells it this weekend, I'd definitely pick it up. Test it out for yourselves. I mean, it's not really something you're going to use every single game or in any sort of competitive situation, but it is a lot of fun sometimes if you've never used it, or if you're just trying to have fun with some friends and get some crazy sniper kills. This is definitely the helmet to do it, so I would definitely pick it up this weekend. Now with that being said, guys, let's get into the Hunters now. So last week, you guys actually got a pretty decent piece of gear as well. You got the gauntlets called the Young Ahamankar Spine. Pretty decent gauntlets. I definitely would have picked them up if I were you guys. Now for this week's piece of gear, I'm hoping you guys are going to be getting the Frosties. Now they have not sold these boots. They just came out in the Rise of Iron and Zer has not ever brought them. We've yet to see them in the shop and I know a lot of people definitely still want them. They're kind of like the Mark 44 standicides. They actually do grant you a tighter turn radius while sprinting. And there's also a pretty awesome perk on there, definitely really great for Blade Dancers, which increases grenade and melee regeneration while sprinting. So that can actually be used a lot in Trials of Osiris, especially on the Blade Dancer class if you're running skip grenades. It's really great if you're trying to clutch as well, because you will always just be regening your melee and your grenade every time that you're running away, if you need to get away from situations or anything. Every time you're running, you're also regening your melee and your grenade. So it's really great. You're just kind of naturally going to be doing that throughout the game, because you're always sprinting. And so anytime that you're sprinting, you'll always just have that buff. And they are a really great set of leg pieces that Zer has not brought yet. So if Zer brings them this weekend, you definitely do want to pick these up if you don't have them yet. He may not sell them for a while. If he does bring them this weekend, he's yet to bring them as it is. So I would definitely pick them up if he brings them. Now finally, last but not least, we do have the Warlock class. Now, last week you guys got the Ram Helmet, which is a pretty great helmet if you run Voidwalker. I personally hate going up against people with the Ram because it just gives you that slight bit of health that makes it so that I can never kill you. So it is a little frustrating for people that go up against you, but for those Warlocks, you guys got hooked up pretty decently last week with that Ram. Now, I was noticing something pretty interesting. Every time that Zer has brought the Ram, every single time for the past two times that Zer has brought the Ram, he has sold a impossible machines either right before it or right after it. So for this week's prediction, I actually think that you guys are going to be getting the impossible machines. I'm not really too sure if that's like a trend for them. Any time they sell the Ram, that they also sell impossible machines like the next week. That's what I've noticed over the past couple of times that they have sold the Ram though. So for this time, I'm just going to play it safe and give you guys the prediction for impossible machines. For this week, I think it may be safe to say that you guys are going to be getting the impossible machines. It is kind of strange to see that the past two times that he's brought Ram, he's also brought impossible machines either the week before or the week after. So it is very possible that he could sell them again this week. So finally, with all the predictions out of the way, guys, for the gear, we're finally here to the favorite part of the predictions, the weapon. Now, last week he sold Red Death, which is a great buy. He never really sells Red Death. It's extremely rare for Zer to sell the Red Death. So if you didn't have that, I really hope you guys picked that up. There could be a very long time again before he sells that. And honestly, the only th reason I think he even sold it was because of Festival of the Lost. So I'm not really too sure the next time he's going to be bringing that Red Death. So I definitely hope you guys picked that up this week. Now, for this week's prediction, though... I'm not really too sure if we're going to be getting a great weapon or not. He's brought us five good weapons in a row. Now, I'm not mad or anything, but for Zer, that's extremely rare. He never brings us good weapons that often. And usually he gives us stuff that we never really want. And there's only really like one good piece of gear or one weapon. It's never one of the two. So for this time around, he hasn't actually sold anything bad in a while. So I think he actually may go ahead and sell either the Dragon's Breath or a Super Good Advice. Something in the heavy category. He's just been bringing primary after primary for a while. The last thing that he brought that was bad was the Thunderlord, and that was five weeks ago. 
like I said, I'm not mad, but it's just really rare for Zer to bring us this much good gear this many times in a row. So I definitely think that he's going to be bringing something from the heavy set this time around, like the Dragon's Breath or the Super Good Advice. So hopefully you guys did enjoy these predictions, guys. As always, drop your predictions in the comments below. I'd love to read your comments, see what you guys predict and think that Zer's going to sell as well. As always, guys, hopefully you did enjoy. Drop a like if you did, and subscribe if you're not already for future Destiny content. And I will see you guys tomorrow in another Destiny video. Peace.